There is a weapon so broken in Modern Warfare Zombies that it will genuinely blow your mind. And what's crazy is it isn't even a weapon. It's one single attachment that can turn any gun into the most broken thing in the game. In this video, we're going to go take it in and test it against everything that the Tier 3 zone can throw at us and maybe even try it in the new Dark for Rift as well. So here we are in game, ladies and gentlemen. I've got the SVA, but you're thinking, is this it? Well, no, it's not. It's actually the attachment I've got on it. So on my left D-pad... We have the flamethrower fuel. And I don't know what the heck Treyarch did with the season two reloaded update, but this is disgustingly powerful now. I've brought in a few goodies for us to test. But even in the tier one zone, you can see it's an instant kill. I don't ever remember it being this deadly before. But the zombies don't even stand a chance. Literally a single hit and they're dead. To me, this is going to get nerfed extremely quickly. So take full advantage of this whilst you can. But before we even pack a punch or upgrade this weapon's rarity, I'm going to go ahead and test this in the tier two zone. This really does have the potential to be that broken that it could be this good as well. So here we go. Oh my God. What the hell? Why is it so good? Bro, I, was, I genuinely was not expecting that. I haven't tested this or tried this before, but what the heck did they do to this thing? This is so broken. Oh my God. Okay, I'm going straight to tier three. We're going to get some perks, but I need to test this against tier three zombies. If it insta kills them too, where the gun's not even papped, not even a rarity, this attachment is just disgusting. All right, here we go. I'm expecting big things. I mean, okay. Definitely not as crazy, but that is still ridiculously strong. Now, I could bother testing at different pack-a-punch levels in different zones, but you know what? You're going to just go into the tier three zone, aren't you? I think we've already, like, guaranteed that in the tier one and two zones, any pack-a-punch level on this is going to be insane. Get ourselves some stamina up. Get ourselves a dead shot. Okay, that's all we can afford. This thing has three... 100 ammo. I'm assuming an ammo depot will completely refill it. Yes, it does. Okay, let's go ahead and pack a punch this. So I've got a tier two crystal and a tier three crystal. So let's start with the tier two. So we don't get any additional ammo, which is I'm a bit surprised at. But wow. Did you see that? Let's try this against a mangler. Pack a punch tier two. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. That is good. All right, I'm not even going to waste any more time. Let's just go and put a legendary tool on it. Now this is legendary. So let's see how quickly. It's an insta kill. Oh my god, Jesus. This thing is so broke. I'm just gonna hope and pray that zombies are gonna drop ammo, which is gonna actually contribute to refilling this thing. But let's go ahead and get a bounty. Now, we're testing this at Pack-A-Punch level two, legendary, but I'm I'm assuming it's gonna be even better at Pack-A-Punch level three. And dog zombies, oh my god, this thing is disgusting. I, I mean, look at this. Everything that walks in front of me immediately dies. So yeah, the only downside is you can see that ammo that the zombies drop do not contribute to getting flamethrower back, which sucks. That is literally the only downside to this thing that I can see right now. So I'm going to go ahead and have to refill ammo. But my God, if you could put this on the crossbow, you are actually sorted. The crossbow and this is, is the two most broken things in this game. Okay, HVT time. How quickly is he going to die? Oh my God. Oh my god, bro. I am actually shocked. What the heck is going on with this thing? Okay, we've got a sigil from that, so we can at least test this in the uh in the new Dark Ether as well. But what the heck is going on with this thing? I want to see this thing at its full potential. So we're gonna just get it to pap three. I'm gonna find a mega abomination. There we go. There's the pap three. I'm so shocked at how good this is. Dark Ether's gonna be difficult though, because there's not a lot of ammo uh depots at all. I'm expecting some very big things against a mega abomination with this thing. I wonder if it would be good for Red Worm with how good this is. And the fact that I've paired this as well with the SVA, which I think I'd put it up there as one of the best ARs in Zombies as well. This is a solid, solid loadout. Okay, here we go. Against the Mimic. Oh my god. What? I am in disbelief at how good this thing is. Oh, tier three crystal. Damn, Sam didn't even need to bring one in. Okay, we need to find a mega bomb right now. Right now. If someone figures out a way to get ammo for this without going to an ammo depot, oh my god, it's gonna be insane. Really intrigued to see what mags of holding would do to this as well. Plus against a normal mimic, a normal mangler. I genuinely don't think there's a gun that kills as quick as this. Okay, we got our first mega bomb. Let's go. Right, a random is fighting it. Oh my god, he's actually going ham with that. What is he using? Okay, we'll just let him let him do his thing. We're gonna have to just find another one, I guess. Okay, we've got our first mega bomb. I'm so hyped for this. Okay, here we go. Lasers and wow! What? What? Are you seeing this? Within seconds. Seconds! 
What? Bro. This thing is actually the goat. This thing is ridiculous. I, I am actually lost for words. Seriously. What is better than this? I genuinely don't know. This is so unbelievably broken. Like, I'm trying to process what the heck happened in this update that made this so good. I actually think we should do the red worm because we have ammo caches in the fight. So we can get the ammo back for the flamethrower extremely quick. Also, how fun would that be? And worst case, I've got a VR-11 as well. So we are actually going to take the worm down very, 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 very quick. Okay, how quick is he going to die? <laughs> oh my god, it's just too easy. The only concern is that it won't be able to hit the red worm because of its range. That is the only thing I'm concerned about. Right, next step is get all the red worm USBs. But I've not even touched the new warlord yet. So we could test it against the new warlord as well. Oh, shoot. Okay, so it is awful against AI, but amazing against zombies. How does that make any sense? Man, without the golden armor plate, this is actually so rough. They're sending more. This is not itchy. Leave me alone. Oh, I think I'm actually wasting quite a bit of time here. So I'm going to just leave this and get the USBs because time is of the essence. I mentioned earlier about mags of holding. I actually have one, but I don't think it's going to make any difference to the attachment. No, it's on the attachment. But yeah, I don't think it's going to change the flamethrower because... There was never a reload needed for it anyway. There's also a lot of perks that I'm missing. I really need to get some more perks. Right, there's our first USB. Here is our second USB. Here is our third. Right, here we go. I'm trying to get contract money. Oh my God. Literally just open one mouth. Oh my God. And there is our fourth and final USB. All right, so here's how it's going to go down. I am very likely to try the worm. And if we can't take it down with a flamethrower, I'm going to run to the dark ether. I have a weird feeling that the flamethrower is not going to reach the worm, but I really want to try it. But not having golden armor plates, I'm going to die so easily. Looking at where the storm is to where the worm's going to be, I'm actually quite nervous about even attempting this because I couldn't hit Mega Bomb with the flamethrower from a fairly short distance so i don't know if this is going to be viable or not so i've done all this work for the worm but i've just been told that yeah it is it is absolutely pointless to even attempt the worm against the flamethrower because it doesn't hit it so i reckon we take this in the dark ether instead i'm disappointed just as much as you are because i did want to try but i just don't think there's any point a moment ago when i was taking that a bomb down and he was literally just above me and the flamethrower couldn't hit it. Okay, darky for time and we are going to go for the bounty contract straight away. And geez, man, you see the containment level? I started at 80. There's a bug right now where for some reason going in the darky for counts as you not X filling. And so they're like, yeah, they're tanking it. So that needs to be fixed ASAP. But we're going to take down the mega abomination with just the flamethrower. I am so excited for this. I wish I had an Elder Sigil. I think we'll probably get one in this Dark Aether run. But with the Flamethrower being so broken, this is going to make the Elder Sigil runs extremely easy. Throw down a decoy, and here we go. You just need to open your mouth, son. Open that mouth. What that mouth do? Only problem is I'm on very borrowed ammo. Ah, ha, 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 ha. I might go down. I'm going down. Burn, baby, burn. I just need to open his mouth. That's all I need you to do. Just open your mouth. See, let me actually try and run out of the fog. Look at his health. He has like... No health left. And there we go. Easy peasy. I just now need to get some ammo back. All right, but there we go. Flamethrower made that a cakewalk when he opens his mouth. Only issue now is I don't know if there's any ammo caches. I genuinely have not seen any. There has to be. I have a feeling that they'll be like around here somewhere, just judging by where they were in DMZ. Because the only thing stopping you from being super OP is the ammo in the flamethrower. That is literally all i feel like the mall 100 is gonna have ammo oh of course it will it's where the ammo caches are let's go if i can find the ammo cache that is come on yes there's one i'm gonna try and do a really difficult one the the ether extractor i reckon with a flamethrower is actually very doable i think my near concluding game thesis is that this thing is just the most ridiculous thing in the world however it does have some downsides and it's just the fact that you run out of it so quick okay, there we go there's the first one done burn okay, oh, let me overload please don't let me get swarmed and die oh yep no we're taking it down but it's fine i need i did it for the decoy because i needed to save it okay last decoy bounce against that run over overload and there we go easy what did we get there oh man absolute trash definitely taking the tombstone because i'm very likely gonna die okay final contract and i'm not even starting it until i've found ammo come on shoot no okay so 
What can we take from this? Well, the flamethrower is the most broken thing in the entire game right now. The only downside is its ammo. So you just got to be extremely careful of that. But no, I'm going to go down another next field here. No! So going into the class setup, literally all you need on any weapon is to go to underbarrel and make sure you have unlocked the jack purifier aftermarket part. That is literally all you need to do. It doesn't matter what weapon you put it on. This is going to be insane. Try it out before it gets patched. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to smash that thumbs up. I really appreciate it.